Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today I decided to show you how to restore a custom firmware in iTunes without getting any of those error messages or anything like that. Like that. Uh, this also works for downgrading firmwares without any errors, so it's it's a pretty nice way. And I don't think iTunes has changed it yet. It's um, it's the new way in 2010 in the summer. Uh, so if it's in the future, uh, yeah, test it out first. It might not work, but it probably will. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the firmware. Um, our custom firmware, and we're going to stick it in the iTunes Restore custom firmware, um, like folder sort of thing. So uh, when you click Restore, what iTunes does, does, I think, I don't really know for sure, um, but it goes into this folder right here, and it res uh, and it checks the your Restore file, um, and it checks if it's the same as what's on your device or something like that. And if it is, it will allow you and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be confusing iTunes into thinking that your custom firmware is actually there. Um, made firmware and that it's all okay. Uh, so first off, you have to have two folders opened up. Um, we have to have this folder opened up, which is on, under your C drive, under users, and then you have to have your user, Apple uh, or App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer, and iTunes. Now I'll have this in the link in the description. All you have to do is copy and change to your username right here. After you're in this folder, you want to. We're going to change two folders. We're going to have the iPhone software update and the device support um, folder. So First off, we're just going to click on the iPhone um, software update, and we're going to go to our custom firmware. All we have to do is copy this custom firmware into the iPhone software updates. Now, one thing to trick Apple is we do have to copy the name of the previous one with the current one. So, uh, for example, let, let me just, um, yeah. Okay. So what you have to do is, you have to take this, rename it, copy the name of it, then delete it, or you can do a backup like me, and then rename to this, and just paste in the name of what it, um, what the previous one was, and we're going to go back. Now we're going to go into device um, support, and do the exact same thing. Once again, you will not have the backup IPSW, and that's because I made that just for um, personal reasons. Okay, so now we're just gonna rename, copy the name, delete the file, and rename this to the previous file name. Now all we have to do now is go into iTunes and put your iPhone into or iPod into DFU mode. Now if you don't know how to do that, you can click in the lower left hand corner on the video, and it will bring you right to a video of how telling you how to do that. Um, it's my video, but if that's not helpful enough, you can actually go and search on you do you at YouTube and search um how to put your iPhone or iPod into DFU mode. You're gonna get lots and lots of results. Um, so definitely check out that. So you have to have your iPhone into DFU mode and then plug it into iTunes. It says detected uh, iPhone. You just click OK. Now this is the important part. What you have to do is hold down Shift and click uh, the restore button. Or if you're on an Apple uh, Mac, uh, what you have to do is hold down the uh, what is it called? The Apple key or whatever it's called. Um, now, after you do that, you want to go into div this uh, dis da, device support. I'm just going to go back into iTunes here. Go under iPhone software update. And all we have to do is copy the link where this uh, file is. It's just easier for us to get to. And we're going to um, restore from it. So just enter that and see how this folder and this folder are the same. And we're just going to click on this and it would restore. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've already, um, I already have my iPhone and I don't want to restore from it. Uh, so that's how uh, you restore a custom firmware without having any problems. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos.